Hi, welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for October 21st of 2014. This week's video is titled, The Power of the Support Line, What It Means to the S&P 500. What I try to do with the point and figure charts that I use to manage the risk in your investments is I try to continually stack the odds in your favor to help avoid disasters when we invest. But point and figure charts have some limitations. They cannot see nor predict the future but I haven't met anybody yet who can. What point and figure charts do well is they tell us what's happening right now, and right now is what we need to focus on. What you're looking at right now is a chart of the S&P 500. This is a 10-point uh, box chart. Think about this on a 2,000-point index, which is where the S&P 500 is. A 10-point box chart is it's a sensitive chart, but as you can see, this red line, that's the support line. Last Wednesday, the S&P 500 tested the bullish support line and so far has been able to hold. If you remember, support lines often act like brick walls, meaning they tend to get a bounce off of a support line, which did happen. It takes a lot to break a support line. But when a support line is broken, it's a very big deal. It's a big deal because as long as the support line isn't broken, means you're in a positive trend. Breaking through a support line would then put us into a negative trend, which we most definitely do not want to be in when we are investing. In the short term, we've seen the S&P 500 bounce off the support line, but let's keep our eye on the ball. If there's a turn and the support line is broken, it will be a big deal. This support line began in late 2012. I don't expect this support line to be broken anytime soon, but as you can see, the great thing about point and figure charts is they keep us in the game as long as we follow the charts. But when the support line is broken, we will have confirmation that the trend has changed from a positive trend to a negative trend. We know what steps we will take at that time. We also know that when the charts get close to their support line, they tend to bounce the other way. They tend to bounce up. Support lines, again, act like brick walls. If you've ever bumped into a brick wall, you know what I'm talking about. You tend to bounce off of it. So if you have a mutual fund, an exchange traded fund, or some stock that you'd like me to analyze, just get in touch with me. Call me at 440-934-3114 or shoot me an email to roger at balzerwealth.com. This has been Roger Balzer, and I'll see you on the next Two Minute Tuesday.